See, we got notes. They're text files right there. Yeah, first note, second note. Now, here's the interesting part. Watch this. We go over here. We go to next cloud. There's our notes. Look at that. There's our note. They're right there. They're the same notes. See, a second note from the web. Here. I'm adding a line. Save it. All right, come back up here. Let's go back to our notes. Look, it just got refreshed. Look at that. You can click on it. Isn't that great? Now, there's a nice little tool that we've got here. I can add something. If I come, if I come here to Home, I'll go to Documents, I suppose. It doesn't have to be. I'm going to create a markdown. I'm going to call it an MD file. This is important. It's got to be an extended. It's a new... It's called Markdown. Markdown. Look at that. So this is text. Simple text. This is heading 1. This is heading 2. H3. Heading 4. Heading 5. Done at 6. Paragraph, same paragraph, new paragraph. Italics. Another bullet. Press enter again. We'll do this. So, this can be very, very useful. Making a file like this, it can be a text file here. And this is a nice, nifty little editor. Look at that. I wonder what this is. Oh, this is just the preview, so it can, you know, different views here. This is a lovely way to learn Markdown. You can make text notes just on your phone or typing on your computer or something. Near it views it here. Now, here's a fun part about this. I'm going to come up here to change over to my tasks. If I go over here in notes, go to my documents, the new Markdown file, I just created it. There it is. Everything is. It's all right there. Until, oh, it didn't quite save everything yet. We're not synced yet. How about now? Oh, oh, it just updated. Oh, there it is. Now I got everything. So see it? We got it while I was syncing. There it is. So, you know, I, 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 I could create a new markdown file. Uh, in fact, because I've got Ubuntu here, I... MD, markdown. There it is, markdown. See, it's .md already. I'm going to change the file name. Uh, class notes. There, now that's an MD file. So here I am in my text editor. I can say um, how to use computers. Uh, and I'll do uh, one, um, turning them on. Computers change through time. One, plug it in. Two, Turn it on. Now, this solves most problems. I'm going to go home and add another asterisk there. We'll see what that does. Actually, that'll probably show up as a bullet point. All right. More later. 
Okay, I'm going to save that. So now I just created that note here. It's an MD file. It follows the same rules because it's MD for Markdown. I'm going to come back over here to Nextcloud. Do a little refresh. Did it show up? There it is, class notes. I just made them. Okay, there they are. That's everything I just typed. It's, now, I'm not sure how this works, so I can play with it here and watch what it does there. Oh, look at that. If I do it like that, I can put a little star there. Isn't that cute? So, there you go. That's how the Markdown Editor works. That's That, that was the plug-in that we had with the Markdown Editor. Now, the, that little markdown editor we were just using, we, we can look at this over here in our active apps. Remember, we got the markdown editor. Remember that? The markdown editor. Remember this? Office and text. We found it here. That was the markdown editor right here. That markdown editor. That's what that was we were just using. Very, very useful.